All right, it's children's time. And so if you are a kid, uh, I invite you to come forward. This is your time uh, specifically. Uh, today is Palm Sunday, one of the most different times in the church year, where usually we have palms and there's people going around, uh, processing around the service, walking around the service, and there's a, a different kind of reading, and everything's a little bit different. And so hopefully uh, in, in this video we're making it a little different and uh, keeping a lot of what we like about Palm Sunday. Um, but for today, I wanted to show you the reason why we do Palm Sunday. Uh, so we have one of our stop motion videos again that uh, gets into this story of when uh, Jesus rode a donkey, people waved palms. And so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the origins of Palm Sunday. Today we have Jesus going into Jerusalem where he will be treated like a king. And in order to do that, he had his friends go find him a donkey. I come riding a donkey because it means I come in peace. We better go see the celebration. People threw their coats on the road in front of Jesus as a way of saying that Jesus was king. They also waved palm branches to show that God always wins. Some people in the crowd told Jesus to tell his disciples to keep it down, but Jesus answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the rocks would shout out. And Jesus told them, I go to become the king you need, not the king you want. And they cheered all the louder, not realizing he was telling them that he was going to sacrifice himself for them. But then again, that is something worth celebrating. Earlier, Beckett and Asher built that track right here that you saw, the road for Jesus to process down, for Jesus to, to uh, ride his donkey uh, down. And uh, did you guys wonder why you built that? Why? Do you know why you built that? For that the road? video. For the video, but why? God. <laughs> God, yes, those are all <laughs> good answers. But it, we were recreating Palm Sunday. Oh, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> We are recreating the Palm Sunday video, or the Palm Sunday scene where Jesus takes his donkey uh, and ride, well, somebody gave him a donkey to ride down. Do you remember why in the video it said that Jesus rode a donkey? It was really fast. And he wanted to see everybody fast. He wanted to see everybody fast? Yeah, it was probably, you know, more convenient. And well, so, he could, so he could have their time. So he could have a party, <laughs> get to the party faster? <laughs> Well, the real reason is that there were two kinds of parades that you could have at that time. One was like a big military, you were going to war, and so the person would be riding a big... I going to see that. You were going to see that? Well, I'm proud of you. Uh, but they, they would ride a big military horse, just a big, tough, strong horse, and so that meant they came in war. Yeah, just kind of like that. And, or, so they could come in war, or they could come in peace. And when they came in peace, they rode a donkey. And so what was Jesus riding? A donkey. A donkey. So that meant that he came in peace. Well, yes, it was a unicorn in the video because we don't have donkeys. But... A bucket has one. And people, so people were throwing their coats out. Do you remember why? So, so, so God could wear them. So God could wear them because they thought Jesus was cold. Do you know, do you know why they threw them out? Kind of to celebrate him coming, but it was a way of showing that they really honored somebody. Yeah, we have Where stuff in our card. This, I think that's dried Play-Doh. We need to pick oh, that cute. up. I, hope, I think it looks like dried Play-Doh. Anyway, so they, um, they throw down their coats in front of Jesus to show that they are... Um, Care about him? That he, they honored him. Hey, can you come over here, Asher? I'm listening. Asher, they can't see you over there. So they, they wanted to honor him. And here, come sit here, please. I'm scared. Come sit there. Hey, come here. So they came. Oh, you, you okay? Yeah. So they came. Uh, they were showing him that they honored him. So they were treating him like a king. But the thing they didn't realize is, what, where does a king normally sit? Do you know what their chair is called? A throne. A cool throne. A throne. And his castle is called a king's castle. A king's castle. Well, so he didn't have a castle. And he didn't have a throne. His throne was his cross. Because what he ended up doing was, in order to be the king that we needed, he sacrificed himself for all of us. And, and so... Because he killed himself. But so well, he didn't kill himself, but he allowed himself to be killed. 
So we could eat. So we could eat part of him. So we could eat part of. So we, we could be connected to his body and. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so and he here, hold up. So he he mm -hmm. sacrificed himself, and in that way, he became our king. And so as uh, the boys um, built their own um, road so that Jesus could process and, in. And a church. And, well, you did build a church. So, yeah, that was a different Lego project. But as they were building those, we're going to invite you to do the same. You saw how they used books and they used Legos and um, little pieces of paper. Uh, so we invite you to, to recreate this scene and think about uh, what what we're celebrating, what they were celebrating, and what we're celebrating now. Tissue paper. Yeah, we use tissue paper, that's right. And so it's important uh, for you uh, to kind of clean up the space before you set it up. So go ahead and, and clean in your house, build it, and then clean up afterwards. This was a popular request uh, from some parents after uh, last week's children's sermon where I had you all make a party and some of you kind of made it a mess. So we don't want Pastor Adrian getting in trouble. So uh, I invite you to uh, set up your thing, pray um, together, and then clean, clean it up. up. Yep, because yep. Beckett always God. cleans up his, his then toys. Then pray right? for God. And then pray for God, yes. But we're going to pray now, okay? So let us pray, Amen. let us pray, Amen. let us pray. Dear God, Dear God, we thank you, we thank you. for coming. For coming and being, and being the, king the king that we need, that we need of God. <laughs> <laughs> and all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Thanks for coming up, guys.